If your suppliers are not providing you with the safety documentation, whether it be sterility and endotoxin testing or purity and identity testing, then you're going to have to either perform that yourself or accept the risk and the burden associated with that of accepting these materials that don't have those certifications. The CMC section is a core component of any IND submission with the FDA or any other regulator. And it sees a significant scrutiny from various different functions within the FDA. We know the FDA is much, much more comfortable with reagents that come with extensive amounts of documentation than reagents that come from uh, vendors that have very little or very poor documentation practices. And those, again, those reagents are ideal and suitable for research use. They just become much less ideal and suitable for manufacturing. So anything that comes in with a certificate that you can trust and that you can maybe audit that vendor and make sure that their quality systems are up to the standards that you need them to be makes things a lot easier. And without that appropriate characterization, certificates of origin, certificates of analysis, you would not be allowed to put those cells into people. It's just not safe to do so. If you're using something in your process that already has a drug master file with the regulator, then you simply have to reference that master file and they will be able to um, go examine the material that's coming into your process. So increasingly it's becoming important to document earlier in the process so that you have a history of how you got to where you are. That can be helpful in providing insight to regulators but also within the company. When you face challenges down the road, you can go back and say, well, we consciously made a decision to go in this direction because. 